This video is going to show you how to run diagnostics on your iPad and check for any potential hardware issues. So if you didn't know, for a while now, diagnostics has been available on the iPhone and now they have brought this to the latest iPad models, that is the iPad Air M2, which is this one, as well as the iPad Pro M4. And unfortunately, at the time of recording this video, these are the only two iPads which support this feature. And since it's a bit of a new thing, they don't really mention it here. It only mentions you can run diagnostics on your iPhone and Mac. But on this page, it does say that you can run diagnostics on these two iPad models. So if you have any of these two iPad models, or whatever future iPads they release in the future, then you can run diagnostics. So in order to do this, make sure you have your USB-C uh, cable with you, as that will be needed to boot into the diagnostics mode. And I'm going to show you how to reboot to that mode right now. So make sure you're on this page on another device, which can be your iPad or a uh, laptop or whatever. That's my old iPad here. And I'll give the link in the description. And then on the iPad you want to run diagnostics on, you just need to switch off the iPad like this. So once the screen is off, what you want to do is uh, press these two volume buttons at the same time while connecting the USB-C cable. Now it's a bit difficult for me to do this while holding the camera. So I'm going to pause this video and we'll come back once it has booted to the diagnostics mode. And you hold the buttons until the logo appears. So. Yeah, I'll be right back. So if you did it successfully, you will get the screen. And now what you want to do on your other device is to press continue. And since this is a bit of a new thing, it's not going to show iPad on this list. But what you can do is until they add the option, you can select iPhone and you can still run diagnostics. So now it's asking you for the the serial number. And what you want to do on your iPad is to press this information button and then you'll get your serial number which you can put into this text box. So I'll put my serial number in and I'll be right back. So you can see it successfully started diagnostics. So now you can press continue. And it's going to ask you to choose your uh, Wi-Fi network. So I'll put my password in and I'll be right back. So the next thing you see is the terms and conditions. So just press agree on this. And now it's going to start the diagnostics. And it's saying waiting for support. And you'll see the website update soon. And here you go. So on the iPhone, there's actually a lot more options, but on the iPad, there are only these two things. So this one is just uh, showing different colors and seeing if your display has any issues, but we're gonna focus on this one for this video, which is the inspector where it checks all your uh, components to see if everything's working correctly. So let's go and press begin diagnostic. And then you see diagnostics begin. So it's going to brighten up the display and stuff like that. Just leave it alone until it goes through this. Now you can see right here, it's showing this just because I have a beta version, but if you're running the normal public version, you're not going to see that. So if you're on a beta, this is normal. Don't worry about it. And you shouldn't see this on a public version.
So uh, everything is paused except for the software because it's a beta version. So that's why same issue found, which it's not really an issue. But yeah, seems like everything on my iPad is working correctly. So if you want to do another diagnostic, you can press this. You can choose another option. Or if you're done, you can press end session and it will close the session. And to get out of diagnostics, just uh, hold the power button and you can press exit and it will boot back into the iPad OS. So this is a quick video on how to run diagnostics on your iPad. I hope this video is helpful and leave a comment if you have any questions regarding this process. I'll try my best to answer uh, any questions you might have. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.